incredible greetings, creatives. Welcome to Silaholics Anonymous. I am your instructor, Shakia, the professor of HSE 365. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the center part of this design. It's a solid color and we want to open it up so that we can change that background. And you're also going to see if you are enrolled in any of our classes, you have access to our student union over on Facebook or our exclusive YouTube links, you're going to see a little something, something extra that we're going to do with this um, as well. So be on the lookout for that video. But as you can see here, if I move this white circle behind this image, we only see the pink. Now, if I go here and move it, we do see the white and I'm able to change that color out to whatever you know color I want it to be. So I'm gonna show you this two ways. The first way is going to be the easiest way and you can only do it if you have Designer Edition, Designer Edition Plus, or Business Edition. I highly recommend Business Edition because it unlocks all of the additional features for you. But we're also going to do this if you only have the free basic version. You are not left out. It's a great way to practice kind of using some tools that you maybe haven't used before. So even if you have designer edition or business edition, I highly recommend that you practice doing the second way as well if you have an image that's kind of set up this way. Now this isn't gonna work for every single image, but with something like this where there is a def like a solid color, defined color and it has an edge around it that is much lighter and you're able to follow the steps like to select um and isolate that area this is going to work for you but it, just a reminder it's not going to work for every single image but it is a technique that will work with certain images okay all right if you don't have designer edition or business edition you can always click the link that's located in the description it is an affiliate link you will get the software for less than going directly to silhouette america but it is an affiliate link so i will receive a small commission for it but it's no difference in price to you and those small uh, commissions they definitely help the platform and helps us to continue to bring you guys free content such as this all right so let's go ahead and get started all of my students in my classes know that we duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So because I'm gonna do this two different ways, I'm gonna duplicate it once, and I always like to have an original, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that again and put that off to the side. So for the first method, like I said, we're gonna do it the easy way if you have Designer Edition or, di or Business Edition, okay? Or Designer Plus. You're gonna go over to your um, tracing panel. We're gonna click on that, you're gonna click on trace by color. Then we're gonna click on trace by color, bring your mouse over to the design and place the cursor in the middle and then click. It is going to fill that area in. You can adjust your tolerance if you want to try and get it, you know, a little bit more refined to that area. So you can see it's starting to pick up other areas. So we're gonna pull that back some we want to focus only on the inside. We're gonna just kind of take this up with the, just clicking the arrows. I wanna get it as close as possible, so we're gonna bring this down. So for my particular image, it's gonna be about eight, okay? And then we wanna go trace and detach. Okay, this keeps shutting down. Let's try this one more time. Okay, we've opened it back up. I'm not sure what's going on, so what I'm gonna do is just copy it. I'm gonna open it up in its own window. Maybe there's something wrong with that particular file. And we're going to go to our trace window, select trace area, I'm sorry, trace by color, trace by color. Click in the center. We know that we were at about eight and then we're gonna go trace and detach. There we go. Not sure what was going on before, but we've pulled that out. Now we can layer that on top, center that up, and we can now click in the center. We're selecting that back circle and we can change that to whatever color we want it to be. So I'm gonna come back over here. We're going to copy this 
and I'm going to just open it up in a new window and paste. And now this is the way to do this if you have the free version of Silhouette Studio. You're going to come over to your image effects. I call it a black and white cookie, half moon, you know, whichever way uh, you want to identify that. But it says um, image effects panel. We're going to click on that. And then you're going to go over to the invert. So it looks the same exact way. And you're going to pull that all the way over to the other side. That's going to make our uh, pearls black. And black is going to be a lot easier to trace than white. So don't hit apply or anything like that. You're not now going to go over to trace. And we're just going to do a traditional trace. Select trace area. Place our box just, you know, in this area. We don't have to cover the whole thing. We're going to take our threshold back. Okay until we have uh, yellow around all of our little circles here, our little pearls, we can go up, up, up. We just don't want it to fill in in the middle, so we're gonna come down. So I'm at about 15% and I'm gonna hit trace. Now this trace does have some openings in it, so we can't use this as is. Um, if we were to release compound path, you're gonna see the middle part does not fill in with color. So we're gonna undo that. We're gonna come over here to our offset panel and we're gonna go to offset, click on offset and we're gonna make this fairly small. We want to bring that in closer, uh, but to where it's still closed off. So I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna start at 0 0.0, let's just go 0 0.02 and then hit enter on your keyboard. Don't hit apply yet. We just wanna see where this goes. Um, this just might work. I actually kind of got that one, um, based on the size of this. So if you go and you see that it's a little still, like it's too, still too far away, it's a little too close and you have openings, you can always go back, undo, and then, you know, choose a different number. Like I said, we started at 0 0.02. If this does not open when I release compound path, I'll try 0 0.025. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And we're going to come over to the color palette and just make that a different color. Uh, let's choose blue. And then on that one, we're, which I don't think this is going to work because I see a box right here. But we're going to see. I'm going to zoom in. Hover my mouse over the blue. Right click and release compound path. Okay. Oops, wrong one. I'm gonna actually delete that one for now. Click and I can see there is an opening right there. So if I release, I'm still not gonna get my center one. So we're gonna undo. Okay, and we're going to go back to offset. And we're going to go 0 0.025. Hit enter. I think I should probably, I think when I did this the first time I did 0 0.03. Every image is going to be different. So just to be on the safe side of this, let's just go 0 0.03 and hit enter. And we're going to hit apply. Now I'm going to fill that in with color. Right Make sure that you are right on it. Right click and release compound path. All right, we're going to delete that one because that's the wrong one. Re release compound path. And you see how that fills in. You're going to hold down shift, click on that middle section, and then hit delete on your keyboard. By holding down shift and clicking on it, you have deselected that middle section. And now you're um, when you hit delete, you're deleting everything else. So now we want to click on that middle section, hold down shift, click on the original image, go over to modify and subtract. Now we can go back to our image effects, go back to invert. And now we have our original. Now we can try and get a little bit closer. Um, if you want to, you know, do that, I'm going to move this out of the way 
and I'm just going to release compound path on this so that I have this center section. I'm going to change the color. And this time, because now it's solid, I'm going to do an offset again. We're going to make that 0 0.015. Uh, that seems to be a little bit closer, uh, point zero, I mean, point zero 0.02. Okay, let's see what that gives us. We're going to hit apply, fill that in with color, click on the yellow and move it. And then let's click on our green, hold down shift, click on our outside image or our original image modify and subtract. And that just may have given us, um, yeah, so we don't have a lot of the pink around the edge. You can always go in, use your edit points and refine that, but that's gonna be pretty good right there. Or if you want to have the white around it, I mean the pink on the outside, just so that everything is uniform and kind of create this scalloped edge, you can do that as well by taking your offset in a little bit, and then when you subtract it, you're going to see a little bit of pink still around the pearls. But either way, you have that open and you can put your colored circle behind mm -hmm. it. And like I said, we are going to do a little, take it a little bit farther. I'm gonna show you guys uh, some tricks and some optical illusions for all of those who are enrolled in our classes and you have access to the Student Union Group over on Facebook or our exclusive uh, YouTube link. But hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If it was, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what was the best part of it for you. What did you learn? Be sure to recommend this to someone by hitting that share button and, and copying that link and sharing it with them. Head over to our website, shop.hsinc365.com. That's where you can enroll in our classes and get more detailed training just like this and get access to that exclusive Facebook group. All right, y'all, until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.